वेलकम टू माई व्यूज़ एंड न्यूज़ संडे सेकेंड वीडियो फॉर यू फर्स्टली सोमाली रीजन ऑफ इथियोपिया इथियोपिया जबूती रेल सर्विस रिमेन सस्पेंडेड फॉर सेवरल आवर्स टुडे एंग्री सोमाली यूथ डैमेज रेलवे ट्रैक एंगर इज अराइजिंग इन द सोमाली रीजन वी कुड सी डेमोस्ट्रेशन वी हैव डिटेल्स फॉर यू secondly uh, from oromia ola today shared a clip from north shoa zone of uh, uh, the region while it says it still has its presence in central western parts of oromia we have a clip for you thirdly tigray viewers almost a week ago UNOCHA United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs in a statement said that logistical preparations were being made for return of Tigrayans who are at uh, IDP camps in Afar so almost a week has passed is there any update and lastly viewers uh, another battle has started between eritrean opposition and pro government groups diaspora groups uh, this time in germany where on the 20th of august a festival is due to be held uh, opposition diaspora groups they managed to stop the festival in the netherlands and our efforts are being made to stop uh, a festival due to be held in germany question is who is leading these efforts to stop eritrean festivals abroad and secondly should these festivals be stopped is this the right approach uh, firstly we are somali region of ethiopia we know that uh, Uh, around 4 days ago in fighting uh, between uh, some somali locals and afar militias afar militias took control of undofo and some other areas and some are reportedly in city zone of the somali region undofo garbaise and adato have long been disputed between afar and somali regions but afar militias entered uh, city zone which is not uh, disputed uh, and they entered uh, the lahile and now it is being said that they have their presence uh, in uh, some other places as well like mayayo which is in city zone pressure is mounting on mustafa umar uh, and now rumors are being spread that mustafa umar is in secret agreement with abul arba a far president that the two held some meetings a few weeks ago and there mustafa umar agreed to a far take over of undofo and other areas so that is why opposition groups opposition parties they are trying to form this narrative against mustafa umar we could see demonstrations in the somali region today Ethiopia Djibouti rail service was suspended because in the Somali region of Ethiopia angry youth damaged uh, railway track we have a clip for you showing uh, uh, damaged uh, and blocked uh, railway tracks reportedly uh, protests are being planned by uh, Somalis in the city zone of the Somali region but uh, they are hearing uh, conflicting reports that uh, uh, somali forces are planning a counter offensive that is why they are waiting but if no counter offensive comes uh, we could see demonstrations that is what we have learned from the ground that people are angry they'll demonstrate they could block uh, both ethiopia djibouti railway line and ethiopia djibouti road Uh, which passes through the Somali region of Ethiopia. Let's see. Uh, can Mustafa Omar handle this new crisis? He is already facing a crisis on eastern border with Al Shabaab, where Somali forces are fighting. And uh, uh, still, we know that Al Shabaab could not be completely removed from Ethiopian territories uh, on eastern front. On western front, uh, a new situation is emerging. 
will the somali regional government uh, involve uh, militarily on western front or will it or will it wait for the right time that remains to be seen as regards rumors that uh, afar president abul and uh, mustafa uh, breached some secret agreement i have no information rumors are being spread by mostly somali regions opposition parties o n l f the csc and other opposition parties they are putting pressure upon the somali regions president they are motivating locals as well that is why i say that we could see demonstrations in city in coming hours watch this clip from the somali region of ethiopia where you can see a blocked uh, uh, railway track this is ethiopia djibouti railway line it remains suspended reportedly uh it has been restored railway service has been restored now watch this clip from the somali region of ethiopia Second viewers, Oromo Liberation Army today shared uh, a video from Noshwa Zone of Oromia. While it is being said that OLA has suffered losses, it is suffering losses uh, in uh, Central Oromia, in Southern Oromia, in Western Oromia. OLA says that it still has its presence in Noshwa. we have a clip for you the clip shows dozens of ola fighters this uh, clip is from vara jarso vara jarso is uh, in in north shore reportedly and in vara jarso there is haro uh, mikael this clip is from haro mikael where ola fighters have been seen it's difficult to conclude Uh, in terms of uh, military capabilities of uh, OLA the government is now on daily basis sharing videos pictures of captured OLA fighters their weapons as well on daily basis Ethiopian National Defense Force is sharing information that uh, how many cabalays have been uh, liberated so so to say how many OLA fighters have been arrested on the other hand OLA is also sharing this information but top commanders have not been arrested so far top commander who are involved in combat operations one was arrested a few days ago uh, close to ethiopia kenya border but it is uh, debatable if he was uh, involved in combat operations lately or not watch this clip from vara jarso romia showing dozens of ola fighters
Early words, uh, Tegarai, Tegarians, uh, trapped Tegarians, uh, suffering in the far region of Ethiopia. We know that uh, uh, around uh, seven to 8,000 Tegarians are at IDP camps in the far region of Ethiopia. Most of them were displaced, uh, or rather they were by force uh, taken from Abala to Samra Afar and Tigray government says that uh, most of them returned from Saudi Arabia uh, and then they were arrested and put in detention camps uh, in Samra. A week ago, we heard from UNOCHA that logistical preparations were underway to start the return of these Tigrayans uh, back to the places where they want to go, like to Abala, to Tigray and that transport, other logistic arrangements uh, are being made. But we haven't heard from UNOCHA so far. So why is that these logistical preparations are taking so much time? Is this process of uh, rehabilitation, return of uh, Tigray IDPs from afar, from somewhere afar to Abala to Tigray has started? No statement from UNOCHA so far, but UNOCHA has access to these IDP camps in some right. It means that these IDPs are being provided with food, with other uh, basic uh, necessities. Though uh, we have a clip for you, due to recent uh, rains, uh, the camps have been flooded in Samra Afar. Watch this clip from Samra Afar. Lastly, viewers, another battle has started between Eritrean diaspora groups, opposition parties, government, pro-government organizations, this time in Germany. We saw two battles. The first one was seen in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, a few uh, days ago where opposition groups, NGOs, they tried to stop the organizing of a festival in Stockholm uh, and opposition groups, they succeeded in forcing the change of venue. But festival was organized. Then in the Netherlands, opposition parties succeeded in stopping the festival altogether and there a court at Hague ruled uh, in favor of uh, anti eritrean government organizations and uh, Awil Saeed was stopped uh, and from, from performing and festival was stopped as well. Now, Germany viewers, where on the 20th of August, an Eritrean diaspora festival is planned in Gishan, Germany. Awil Saeed is once again a speaker, a likely speaker. Social media campaign is underway and before that, Eritrean opposition groups, uh, NGOs, they have become active as well. They are planning to stop this program as well. Which channel are they going to adopt this time? Because in the Netherlands, they adopted legal channel. They involve lawyers. Uh, an Eritrean Human Rights uh, Foundation in the Netherlands uh, was involved uh, and Bright Future Movement reportedly played a key role in stopping the festival in the Netherlands. Let's see what happens in Germany, but efforts are being made. A united opposition front is emerging uh, in diaspora, it seems. If festival in Germany is stopped as well, it could be a severe blow to Eritrean government. Secondly, uh, people said, Sajid, do you back stopping of these festival? Do you back uh, this strategy adopted by opposition diaspora groups? Well, I am for freedom of expression. People should be allowed to speak. So I am personally not against these festivals any festival. Uh, but the festival should not be a source of spreading hate. If hate is spread, yes, opposition parties, affected parties have a right to stop. Secondly, fundraising. 
funds are raised at these festivals. The funds go to Eritrean government. Where are the funds uh, spent? Does Eritrean government tell uh, the contributors where these funds are being uh, spent? Is Eritrean government accountable to these uh, Eritrean diaspora groups who are funding, who raise funds? What are the funds being used for in Eritrea? It's a very important question. Uh, so, my only uh, point is that uh, Eritrean diaspora abroad should question Eritrean government about the funds being raised at this festival. Uh, festivals. Where are these funds being spent? And is there any say of these diaspora uh, groups, members, when it comes to making plans about spending of funds collected uh, by diaspora in RRT. So these are important questions. Otherwise, I am not against uh, organizing of festivals. Freedom of expression should be respected. If all these festivals are banned, then what is the difference between RRT and uh, Europe where uh, uh, these RRTians are free to express themselves? Thank you for watching.